Welcome back. You're tuned into the My Cool Inventions Network. This is a segment we call Selling Secrets. Selling stuff. What makes a product, that's what we're going to talk about, what makes a product stand out? What makes a product successful? How many times have I had inventors come up to me and say, oh my goodness gracious, I'm going to tell you a story. How many times have I been on TV? I was on air one time, Andrew, where the uh, um, president of Dyson Okay. Was following me. He was selling for the first time on HSN a Dyson vacuum. Okay. Right? And I was selling stains around. And I flooded the phone lines. We sold, I don't know, 5,000 units in 10 minutes. It was a huge success. It was a Saturday afternoon. And he came on air personally and he sold very poor. Yet it was a nationally televised brand, huge vacuum. What do you think? Why was mine successful? And why did oh, that particular airing happen that it wasn't successful? Easy, easy. Wow factor. Yes. Wow factor. Easy. Demonstration wow factor. So he came up to me after the airing and he said to me, he said, hey, Cos, I don't understand. I go, they were crazy for your product and they weren't product were cra cra crazy for mine. I showed all the features. I showed all the benefits, you know. And I says, dude, I don't know how to run your business and I don't sell vacuum cleaners. <laughs> but if I had a vacuum cleaner that never gave up suction, regardless of how much dirt I would put in it, I think my demonstration would start something like beep, bowling ball, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> a dump truck full of dirt, and I would have sucked it all up, right? I would have sucked up an extreme amount of dirt. Or oh, the bowling the ball. The bowling ball. The bowling ball is another good vacuum. That's a while. Thing. You pick up the bowling ball. I used to pick up tables. I used to pick up whatever yeah. I could to demonstrate how amazing the suction power was. The point was, yeah. they had an amazing product, but they never paid it off with a demonstration. What they did was a brochure cell, and I hate brochure cells because, quite frankly, I go to sleep in a brochure cell, yeah. and I'm not going to watch a brochure cell because I don't care less about the features and benefits. I don't care less. There's five motors or hey, let me get four in here. belts. Hold on a second. Right? You got some? I got something for what you. What do you got? When we were at the shows, if you remember, there used to be ice cream guys on the outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. we were wondering, well, how can you know everybody loves ice cream, but this guy would sell tons of ice cream, and only because he had. He was making it in front of you. He had a little glass, plexiglass screen. He was cutting up. All he was doing is cutting up vanilla ice cream into squares, That's put right. sticks in them, dip oh, them in chocolate, yeah, roll them in nuts, and people were buying them like they were hotcakes all day long. And we couldn't understand why. And I, of course, it's a wow factor. The guy's doing it right in front of you. It's a demonstration. People love to see that, and they were buying it up like You're crazy. You're right. There was ice cream guys right next to him down the road wasn't selling ice cream. The only guy selling ice cream That's was right. this guy. And this guy had like 31 flavors, and he couldn't understand why he's not selling. And the guy who was selling had one, one flavor. One flavor. One single flavor. Well, that's it. I remember that guy. He took the cheapest ice cream you could buy in the store. Yep. In, the, in those Back in the old days, they didn't sell it in tubs. They had these squares. Squares, right? Yeah, square boxes. Square. So the cheapest one was the square one. So he peeled off the square, he took a two handed knife, and he cut it up, cut in, it squares. up in squares. Put the he, sticks in it. Yeah, he put the sticks in the squares. Put it in the freezer. Put, yeah, as the first it came. Yeah. Oh, you want one too? Okay, watch this. He made them fresh, which basically didn't make any difference at all because yeah. fresh or five minutes old would have made no difference. And all the other ice cream guys didn't have the demo. Yeah. So demo, yeah, good good point. That's yeah. a good idea. That guy that guy ruled the roost. He sold yeah. he sold thousands and thousands of dollars with an ice oh, cream yeah. because he demoed ice cream. Who could have who would have thought of demoing ice cream? He figured it out and yeah. he he owned the place ice cream wise. So demonstrations is always the thing. And what's a demonstrable product? Take a look at this oh, total right. slicer. So when you talk about a total slicer, I don't care if it has two blades or three blades or made of plastic. What I care about is that whole onion disappearing in a second. What I care about is that cucumber, super fine thin. Oh, for my delicious cucumber salad, I love that. On there. That's yeah. what I care about. Look at this boom, onion. Safety. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Three, two, one. That onion's chopped and diced in a second. That's no. what I care about. Don't sell your product based on the features and benefits, right? I always say this, a picture paints a thousand words, a demo and a video paint billions of words. Yeah. And when you're talking about billion, oh, the fire steel, look at this oh, one. Well, how much? Oh, fire starter. Oh, oh, man. In fact, we want to sell it again now shortly. Fire starter. i tell you something. I mean, this is a fire starter. We used to go to trade shows and start fires. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little ones. Yeah, little ones. And tiny fires. Not big. Uh, but we used to show it wet. We used to show it frozen. We used to show it regular. We used to wow them with the spark. We used to stop them. Even a fire starter can be demoed properly. Absolutely. And we used to take a ton of money with them. Remember the Harrisburg Sports Show, my friend? You and I went there. Yeah. 
We go there 10 days, 10 days sports show. We have like, you know, we figure we got two barrels of steel. We got 1,400 steel, 10 bucks each, $14,000. That's perfect, right? 10 days, $14,000. What do you think, Tony? You know, 1,400 bucks a day. That's pretty good, right? That'll fill the pockets. Yeah, that'll fill the pockets. Trouble is, wow. two days into it, <laughs> we, were, we were out. We were sold out. We were out. sold out. We In fact, it. it was a Friday, Saturday. I a Friday, yeah. Saturday was the first two days. Like, and about uh-oh. four o'clock on Saturday we afternoon, I said, dude, I got to go. We got to get <laughs> we some more because we were sold out. <laughs> I drove through the night back to our yeah. where, back back to our barn where we had a bunch more barrels. I loaded up the truck and drove back through the night. Yeah. I dropped them off to Andrew Sunday morning. I got to take a couple hour nap and I'll be back. And yeah. by the time I came back, we burned through those things. Oh, we yeah. went through $50,000 worth of survival steel, five grand a day doing that demo you just saw. Yeah. So if you, and by the way, there were guys all beside us. Uh, they were selling other survival oh, one gears. Guy, remember a guy across us he had knives, beautiful knives. He had tons of knives. Gorgeous all knives. All kinds of stuff. The problem was, he had everybody's back to him because <laughs> we had jammed up the aisle <laughs> and he was upset because, of course, he wasn't getting no sales at all. But there's no demonstration. If, if he had a knife, I'd be demonstrating the knife on how it cuts he, through things, how it does this. The, but he just sat there. And he made the knives. Yeah. I would be making the knife right there on the yeah. booth. Yeah. I would be grinding the thing, polishing the thing, yeah. making people say, what is that? What are you, what are you doing? Yeah, demonstration is everything. Yeah. Demo your product. Don't just stick it on the shelf. Don't just stick it on the table and pretend somebody's going to come up and buy it. I mean, some few people will come up and buy it, yeah, but, but that's not the deal. Demonstration is absolute. Take a look at this. Look at this. Floor to ceiling laundry pole. 50, 50 garments by one thing. But if you've got a floor, you got a ceiling. Put it by your dryer. Put it by your hand washing. Put it by the front door. Hang up all your coats. Maybe you're watching television. Where Put it where you're ironing. Demonstration. Put it in the garage. Put up your hockey equipment. Like the paint pictures. Yep. Take the customer on a journey. And look at that. Maybe your kids are coming in there. They throw yeah, their coats on the floor. Hang it up. Time. Video is everything. Demonstration is everything. Speaking of demonstration, I see Steve Vorpal there giving us a oh, five. Hey, Steve, how was Evine yesterday? How was your demonstration? How did it go? Uh, give me a little feedback if you can, if you're watching. He's from uh, California, I believe. The Glide Guys guys were live on Evine yesterday. I'd be curious cool. to know how you sold yesterday. But demo, demo, demo. Yep. Don't just sit this thing on a shelf. Demo it. Absolutely. Take it out. Show people what it does. Because people get stopped by activity, right? Actions are everything, right? It's, a, I mean, it's everywhere. I mean, I mean, if you want to do- stop a dog barking, what do you do? You shake that thing. Yeah. And all of a sudden, what's that? Just disrupt them. Basically, demonstrations disrupt their behavior. Right, demonstrations catches their attention, and of course, Absolutely. once what's you know amazing about demonstration? If you do a live on a live show on a trade show, once you stop one person, oh, everybody stops. Everybody stops. Yeah. Yeah. Once you have one to build the tip, you got yeah. everybody will stop. I remember I used to do uh, the window. Remember yeah. that squeegee in the window? Squeegee window. in the window. Yeah. So then I would right away the fr- and the first how do you stop them? You get them a question. You get them. You get them involved in you for a quick question. You won't, because you want to get that first person to stop. So I used to always say, Hey, do you have a house? Do you have any windows? And then of course everybody would go. Well, yeah, great. Check this out. <laughs> Boom, and then they would be stopping, and all of a sudden, I get into it. And once I start getting into it, all of a sudden, the tips start to build and build yeah, and build yeah. and build and build. And now you're talking, and you want to get them. You want to get them to focus on what you're doing. And then you start the wow factors. Then you start spraying the. I was spraying hairspray, and I was spraying all kinds of lipstick on. That's right, dog and, prints, kid and prints, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, puppy prints, whatever puppy it is. Prints. And then um, next thing you know, I was wiping it clean, and it was clean. It was unbelievable. And people went, wow. And next thing you know, they want to know how much it is. Correct. So demonstration is absolutely everything. Why do I, if you're at a trade show, I always, when I walk by a trade show and I see a guy displaying his product, I always giggle inside because displaying the product, right? Yeah, well. Yeah, good luck paying your rent on there. But if you see them demonstrating the product live, I got to tell you a funny story. Uh, Bruce, one of the best knife guy workers in the world, I wonder yeah. if he's still alive out in yeah. um, but, uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. I mean, Bruce, Bruce Kirk was his name, and his wife, Miriam, he was demonstrating a knife. He had the knife demo, right? Yep. And one time in the Calgary Stampede, I walked up to him. He's demonstrating the knife to nobody. To nobody. Yep. And I walked up to him. I go, Bruce, why are you demonstrating to nobody? He said, 
Uh, I work here uh, from uh, 10 o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock at night, and it doesn't matter if anybody's standing in front of me. And by the way, you're standing in front of me, aren't you? And as yep. soon as I stood in front of him, I Next stopped. You know. Two or three people stopped. Next thing you know, we had 10 people to sell knives to. He demo, 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 flipped the tip. By the way, a tip is a crowd in front of you. We'll talk. We'll do a pitch. Uh, we'll do a, a, a trade show pitch school one time. Yep. And he sold stuff to an empty building. Yep. But what happens in an empty building? People don't work. What happens to an empty building? People don't demonstrate. Right. People sit down on their phones and they, they start texting and Facebooking and they're not working because they justify that there's nobody in the building. The truth is there are a few people in the yes. building and one time somebody stops then you start demonstrating, you lure them in. That sure beats de displaying your product. Guys, you could display a box that turns coal into gold. Right. Think about that for a second and no one will buy it. Yep. You show them that the coal turns to gold. Now yeah, they're in, watch right? Watch this, take a look. Watch love this, it. take a look. Demo, yeah. demo, demo, and same thing on television. When you're on TV, when I watch demonstrations on TV or commercials on TV, the best commercials are the one that demonstrates the product, shows the product on there. Those are the best ones. And on television, I always say, here's something I say to my producers. We have pre-pro meetings before every live on-air demonstration, and the pro producers always say, what are you going to do? And I say to them, I'm going to demo my heart out, and let me tell you, if I ever see a two-shot, meaning Meaning, meaning the, the host and the guest in a long shot, just like this is a two shot right now you're no. seeing, I know I'm not demonstrating. And I tell the producers, point your cameras to my hands because if I see myself on air, that means I'm not demonstrating because I'm not showing that camera something to, to see. Right. So always, always, always keep demonstrating. Demonstratings are everything and demonstration will make your product <laughs> successful. I, see, Absolutely. I keep saying the same things. Do a video, show the demonstration, That's don't show is. pictures, go on the trade shows, demonstrate, 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 take the customer on a journey, hold them by the hand, because at the end of the rainbow, you ask them for their money, of course. Yeah. And that's how you get their money, and that's how they're selling secrets from Andrew and Akos Jankira right here on the My Cool Inventions Network.